In this tutorial, I will show you how to simulate a model and sync its simulation result with SimLab VR Viewer. In order to do that, let's get started. After opening SimLab Composer 8, switch to Simulation Workbench. Go to the library which contains various simulation ready models. For this one, we will choose Motion Transmitter. This model consists of six solids and six links of Revolut type. One of its links has the motor enabled. Creating a link is very easy and very straightforward. Just let me show you how to do it. I will link the motor joint of this model and recreate it from scratch. Go to Links, located on the ribbon, then click on Revolut. Set Solid 1. Set Solid 2 to Ground. Pick Point and Axis of Revolution. Enable Motor. Finally, configure its motion function. And optionally, don't forget to rename the link. To review the simulation, go to Simulation, then select Start. To simulate the model interactively using a keyboard or Xbox controller, you have to set a design panel. In order to do that, go to Interactive, then select Design Panel. Click Add, then choose the model's motor to make an interactive entity from it. Configure its controller function. Here I will use my Xbox controller to map the increase and decrease keys to up and down directions on the left thumbstick. Configure the remaining settings. Now our model is ready to be controlled by the control panel that we just created. But first, we need to switch to Virtual Reality Workbench to prepare the model for SimLab VR Viewer. In the Virtual Reality Workbench, you can configure the environment. Create or import a ground. And set the starting position of your experience. Here it is. We are ready to sync the simulation in SimLab VR Viewer. Switch back to Simulation Workbench. To sync the same regular simulation that we reviewed previously, but this time in SimLab VR Viewer, select Simulation, Sync, and then Desktop Mode. To sync the interactive simulation, select Interactive, Sync, and then Desktop Mode.
to gradually increase the motor's speed, move the left thumbstick slightly in either direction. The analog sticks are sensitive to the user's input. 